Alright, hey guys, so we're back with another StarCraft 2 video, uh, Zerg, um, yeah, it's just gonna be a cheese video today, um, I actually just made a, or just played a game against a Terran player, it's actually a very easy AI, so I can just show you the execution for the build, without any of the pressure, you guys can definitely do this against your own AI, at your own level, to practice the build before you do it on ladder, that's perfectly fine, and that's what you should do. Okay, let's just hop in the game. For Zerg, it's the best against Zerg versus Terran, but it doesn't matter what build. When I was in Silver, I did this, and I got pretty far, like extremely far I'm with sure this. It'll be better this time. It's um, so it's basically a one base, three Ravager push. You guys might have seen it before, or played it before. You should use it in low elo definitely, it might work in gold 2 up until like, or like, I would say gold 3 or gold 2 is the highest that I would take this build actually. That's, okay, so basically what you do here in this build, you go 12 pool, double gas, just droning, that's about it. I just send the overlord across just for pretty much no reason, just to scout. But this is no opponent, so it's completely okay. So you basically just make a bunch of drones until you're 14, and then you just drop your workers straight into gas. It doesn't ma you don't have like no mineral mining, but it's completely okay. This is fine. So, all right. So basically, what you want to do is, as soon as the pool pops, as fast as you have, as much money as you have. When you get to 150 minerals, you plop down a roach warren, and you just keep on mining. You just sit here idle, and you make a overlord because you don't want to get uh, supply blocked. And, I think, and let's see what happens. And then you make another overlord because when you morph the ravagers, you'll only have enough supply to make two ravagers instead of uh, three ravagers. So basically, just wait. You make you engage the enemy on so, purpose. You basically just queue up three roaches as fast as possible. As soon as the overlord pops, it's okay if your overlord gets harassed. So, you basically just morph them into ravagers, and as you guys know, ravagers are faster than roaches, so don't be like... So, what you don't want to do is run across the map with the roaches, and then use the ravagers. Um, you, you don't want to morph them at the enemy base. Because the Ravagers are much faster and um, they'll arrive quicker, in which you can just kill them, the enemy, very quickly. So, three Ravagers at this point should be enough, like low elo, to kill people, like extremely easy. Because, assuming that they at least have a uh, depot wall, uh, since it's an AI, they don't have a depot wall, but assume that there's a depot wall up here. The objective is to just jump up there, maybe bring the overlord that you used to scout initially to scout for on the high ground, and then start biling down the supply depot, and then you just bust in, and then you just micro against a bunch of SCVs, uh, because the SCVs, uh, more than likely, the enemy is going to pull the SCVs, so you definitely need to practice your micro, I don't know if you guys uh, know the LOTV unit tester, you can use that to micro or practice microing with ravagers or marines and stuff like that to increase your mi improve excuse me, improve your micro and um, you kinda just run into the main I think he's gonna pull he's gonna pull, yep he's gonna pull doesn't matter you just throw a few vials down uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this build basically you just three ravagers is enough to have one shot an SCV and a marine I think so and here comes the pull, one shot, one shot, you just gotta practice your micro right here, it's not too hard, it's just a little bit of stutter stepping. It's not the hardest thing ever. As you guys can see, the opponent would most likely be lost by now, they'll probably have like a few marines and such, but you can one shot them with the ravagers and the ravagers are armored. Uh, or, not that they are armored, they just have a lot of HP and more armor. Or actually, they have less HP but more armor, and they just do more damage than raptors or roaches, rather. And they have the vials, 
So basically in this scenario, the Terran player is going to be forced to tap out and they GG out. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to leave a comment as to what game you would like me to play again from my old videos. And uh, with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.